Hi. Do you know how to buff your nails to sound your best? I don't think a lot of you do, and I want to take some of the um, misconceptions about um, treating your nails to play the guitar um, and just kind of run you through what I do pretty much every day before I play the guitar. It takes me about three or four minutes. It doesn't take long at all. Um, but I want you to take a look at this, see what happens for you. I think this is probably especially true for those, those of us who use acrylic nails. Um, but all the stuff that I'm going to talk about today will work for you um, if you're using natural nails as well. But um, I noticed that after I play for 90 minutes um, that I see a lot of white dust that develops underneath my strings and on the, the treble, bout, treble side of the lower bout. And that's fingernail dust. I mean, that is literally the steel strings chewing up the acrylic. And so I go through um, really a buffing. I just, I'm trying to take these guys from not only being smooth, I want them like glass. I want no catches at all because for me, the best tone I get is it's the longer I can keep the nail on the string smoothly. It's like bowing a string. And I want that, I want the surface to be really smooth. All right, so the first thing I do is just a daily maintenance check to see if I have any air or water where, where they can get in, typically along the side of the nails. If I do, I will use this three-sided device. Everything I show you today, all the files I use can be gotten at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, and I just go along the edge and I'm just trying to basically get loose acrylic off so it can't be pulled off and get it down to where it's healthy. And typically this is all I need. I don't need much. All righty. Um, the other thing that I will do occasionally is take a look at the sides of the nail to see if um, the nail is growing away in any way from the acrylic and the tip that are on there. Um, and this is a diamond um, bladed device, nail file. Um, this is not something that you want to use last. This is something that is early on in the process. And again, this is just along the sides. I want to make sure that everything is in a straight line here, that nothing is sticking out. Okay, this guy goes away. And now we're kind of getting um, into the, the shaping piece. This is hard to see against black. Let me see this direction. There we go. All right, this is made by ASP. It has a coarse side and a little less coarse side. And I use this to shape and, um, and get the length that I wanna get on my nail. And then I put this away. Um, I try to use the less coarse side so I take as little nail off as possible. I'd rather have my nails a little long rather than a little short. All right. Um, and again, regarding shape, shape is up to you. Length is up to you. There is no right or wrong. There's what's right for you. Don't let anybody tell you your nails are too long if that's what works for you. And don't let anybody tell you your nails are too short if that's what works for you. All right. Um, this is called a sand turtle. This is fine. They make one in purple that is super fine. I don't have that one today. But what I do with that, this is the first process in really taking out some of those ridges that steel strings put into your nails. All right. Doesn't take long. Now I'm going to substitute. This is an older version of the one that I just used. We're going to imagine that it's purple, not green. And this would be the super fine. And this just again, gets me one step closer to this glass surface that I'm looking for, all right? Now, this is, for all practical purposes, this, this is called a tropical shine three-way buffer. Three-way. Three-way's cool. Three-way's better. This device basically takes us from what most guitarists stop at. This is about a thousand grit sandpaper here. And this, again, we're going to, we're still at this point in just the smoothing, we are still actually have the ability to take length off with this. It's minute, but it's there. And again, we're just getting it ready for the final two pieces, which are the white and the gray. And these guys are going to buff this nail until I can pretty much see myself in it. 
By the way, when you're doing this, do not forget to go under the nail. Look at your contact points when you're playing. Um, for a while, I had a guitar that had a, had a, um, um, a sound hole in the upper bout for the guitarist. And I was able to look through the hole, see the sound hole, and realize, oh gosh. Um, and from that time on, I started paying a lot more attention to underneath my nail, as well as to the sides. So do both. Then the final thing that I do is the gray. And again, this is going to put incredibly high gloss on here. And it feels um, amazing on the string. And there it is. All right. Now, if you'll buy this stuff, it's almost a money back guarantee. I think your tone's going to be better. You don't have to do anything to change the length or the shape of your nails. But if you some, pay some attention to the sides and underneath with buffing, you're going to improve your tone. So now you know. Um, check out my website. Buy some of my music. Support me. Help. Love you guys.